what's up guys <clears throat> I'm gonna do a little uh, walk around and go through with my boat that I bought from uh, Brian Latimer uh, at the end of the last year in the fall September so this is a 2020 Crestliner um, XF 189 it's almost 19 foot um, <clears throat> didn't come with these bunks, I put these bunks on there to make it easier to load, load the boat on. Um, got the 115 Mercury. Um, the boat, the boat goes pretty good with the 115. I've gotten it up to almost, uh, 50 miles an hour. So that's pretty good for, uh, for 115 and, a. Uh, pretty much almost a 19 foot um, bass boat but it is aluminum so it is pretty light um, there's the gas uh, gas cap there back here gas tank um, the power poles um, the Miller Tech um, batteries that's the, the cranking battery this is the uh, trolling motor battery and uh, I went out on Monday. It was at 100%. I was probably out for an hour and a half, and it's only used 3% um, of the battery. So you can be on the trolling motor uh, pretty much all day and uh, do multiple trips, and it'll be fine. Um, there's a, the battery charger over here. See down here. You can see that. green good to go and then got the the power poles they're uh, eight eight foot so it's pretty good pretty good depth and they work really good when you're in shallow water you need to anchor down or you're near in the in the wind go around the other, other side this is the uh, motor guide pro trolling motor oops hit my funny bone right here so Steering wheel, I don't have my graphs in. Um, but there's the front console, that's where my Garmin would go. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna get in the boat. <sighs> Little compartment. Um, I don't really have anything in there. Live well. I already saw in there those batteries. This has my trolling motor charger in it. And then this is kind of like some tools, some line, zip ties, ratchet set. Um, just kind of like some, some random stuff. That maybe I might need on the water. And then it's a little uh, center compartment. It's got my reg and some random stuff in here. Frog. Uh, we'll need those until spring. Um, what else? We'll move to the front of the boat. And rod locker. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn, turn the power on on the boat. And 
and has these lights on there and then this turns on the little light strip in here so where I fit all my rods I could fit quite a few more in there so a lot of room uh, navigation light in there but yeah I got about 12 rods in there right now over here this is um Jackets, YOLO stick for the GoPro, uh, the life fishing pole, two life vest net, two uh, fire extinguishers. Always need to keep a first aid kit. Um, got some flares in there in case anything ever happened. And then from up here, I can put down the power poles if I need to. Um, this uh, is a is a trim right here. I can, you know, put the motor up or down from the front. Put the power poles down. Um, I like the, the the recessed pedal. That's really nice to have. Um, and then this is where I keep all my my tackle which is kind of organized here not so much on that side but I'm waiting for some a couple more things to come in um, spinner bait box swim baits crank baits much everything I have is in here trailers Swim baits. Some big baits. But that's more than enough room for me. I don't really have that much stuff, honestly, compared to some people. Um, oh, and then my graphs were in here. So I got them marked. That's for the front. It's for the, this is the console. I mean, they're, they're in mint condition. They're really good shape. None of the screens are cracked. I mean, Brian took really good care of this boat. Um, this was just kind of like his uh, play boat, you know, when he didn't want to, you know, take out the wrapped, you know, tournament boat and everything you would just bring this boat out the gambit sticker b lot sticker it's the trim pull down uh, from right there um, no bilge um, this is what turns those those lights on Um, all the gauges work good. Two cup holders. That's pretty much it. Um, really happy with the boat. I love it. Um, you know, I was looking at like a, a tracker or something, but this was the way to go. I spent a little bit more money, but it was cool. And a cool experience to uh, go down to uh, South Carolina and meet Brian right at his house and pulled it right right out of his driveway. It was a long drive though. But I would love to get back down there and fish Hartwell. Maybe even fish with him. Yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much the boat. Alright, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for some more stuff. I might get out um, this week for an evening trip. I'll try to get some, some filming done. That's my old boat, kayak.
Been there, done that. Yeah. Thanks for checking it out. And I'll talk to you guys soon.